what is going on guys it has been a cartoon 91 here and today i am filming the long awaited long overdue 2020 gaming and streaming setup so yeah let's get right on into it Alrighty, guys so going from left to right all the way on the left i have an aoc 24 inch 60 hertz monitor that i use as a secondary monitor just for reading chat twitter discord all of that stuff so yeah, that's what I have all the way to the left. Alright, so for my main keyboard, this is a Sirius from productkeyboards.com. It has Psycho switches and a keycap set off of Amazon. All of that is in the description. Along with a custom coiled cable from Mort Cables, I will also link that below in the description. My other keyboard is a SteelSeries Apex 7. It is not the pro version, which means it doesn't have those fancy switches for, the, for these keys right here. It just has Steel Series red switches. I just use this keyboard for gaming, considering my custom keyboard does not have control keys because it is an HHKB layout. Okay guys, so right in the center here, I have an Acer XFA240. So this is a 2040-inch, 144Hz, 1 millisecond response time gaming monitor. It is my main monitor that I use for gaming, of course. And, and then right here is just a bunch of keyboard tools. This is a keycap puller. These are just some tweezers for checking sockets on PCBs and other stuff like that. And then this is a switch puller, so it, whenever you need to pull a switch out of a PCB, that's what that is for. The webcam that I use is the Logitech C920 1080p uh, webcam. That is for my face cam, and then the camera that I'm currently using is what I use for the keyboard cam. This blue boom arm right here is actually how I get the keyboard cam. So I attach the camera to the top of this and then I pull it down like that and it will film the keyboard cam. Moving even more to the right, we have the G Wolf Hottie mouse, the main gaming mouse that I've been using since I got it, along with the glorious mouse bungee just so that the cable doesn't drag. And then right here I have a Samsung S2C 750 that I use as vertical for Twitter and Streamlabs OBS when I stream. And then right here, I have the Blue Yeti. This is the mic I use for streaming. I'm looking to upgrade to an AT2035 with an audio interface and a boom arm. So in the future, I might make a video on upgrading my audio setup, but for now, that is what I use. Right down here is just a screwdriver kit for keyboards and any other thing I might need. And then this is for my MacBook Pro. It has the USB-Cs into regular USB, HDMI, another USB-C, and then SD cards on the bottom. And then moving on to the PC, it has a Ryzen 7 2700X, it has a B450 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard, an RTX 2060 from Zotac, an H115i Pro cooler from Corsair. It also has 16 gigabytes of RAM at 3200 MHz, and a Corsair 750 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. It also has a 512 gigabyte M.2 SSDs, along with two 500 gigabyte SSDs in the back. Back here, there are just a bunch of cables, but some things to point out is my Google Wi-Fi. But something that I have back here is the Philips Hue lights that is also, that are behind the PC and is also behind the main monitor right here. So I can change it to any color I want. So if I want to, let's go with pink and it will change to pink or this blue teal color. And it changes to anything I want it to behind there. So that's why I like this Philips Hue. One of the last things I have to show are my new headphones. These are the Audio-Technica M40Xs. I was going to get the M50Xs, but these were $50 cheaper, so I decided to give it a try. And they sit on the stand that I got off of Amazon. It was like $10, so I just throw them like that, and then I flip it around. And then that's how I keep my headphones. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that sub button. Comment down below some other video ideas or anything else you want me to do. Go check out my Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All linked down below. Most of the stuff that is in my setup is linked down below as well. So if you want to pick any of that up, go check it out. They are Amazon affiliate links. So it does give me a little bit of kickback if you use those links to purchase it. If not, you can just look up the items on Amazon as well. So yeah, stay safe. Peace.